So uh, this is going to be on the, the, the adding embed code to a web page. And that's all under the, the web, HTML, and page design, Google Sites using embed code. So the whole thing about embed code, is, and this is the assignment, is, and I've done it in the assignment here, is you can embed digital online assets in a web page so it looks like it's part of the page. So here I've got my sway. And in the assignment, I've added the sway. And you can actually see, you know, use the sway just like you would if you just went to the sway online without going through a web page. So and it works just the same. You can do all the same features. Um, and below it, there's a video. I've added a video to this, this assignment. And it's embedded in the assignment. It looks like it's part of the page. Um, but it's actually the asset is on YouTube and this asset's on Sway. So each of these assets is somewhere else. You're just adding this little frame that will hold the asset. So, and the sites you're going to need, we're all going to, we're going to go to those sites, but there's also links to them here. So you go click on Sway for this. You go to Google Sites here and YouTube here. So I'm going to go to basically make a new tab, Control T, and I'm going to go to sites.google.com. And I can just type it. You can, and it's a lot, a lot faster. I like to use keyboard commands and 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 get to where I need to go a lot faster. So I've already done this a bunch of times. I'm going to do another one. Um, actually, I'm going to see if I can get rid of this one. I'm just doing this little little cleanup. All right. So I'm going to start myself a site. If you, you, you probably have one already, but I'm just going to start fresh. And I'm going to call this um, YouTube and, whoops, YouTube. And, ooh, why did that happen? That's not what I want. YouTube and, ooh, not and, and Sway. It was in embedded. And I'm going to make this a little fancier. YouTube and Sway embedded. Now, notice I have this. This is like a little feature I added. These, this is called a special character. In Windows, there is a way to type special characters. You don't have to have special characters. This is just like an extra little bit. Um, and like trademark and, and uh, language accents and, and characters that have language accents are, can all be done by special characters in Windows. You just ha hold the, uh, alt, if you know the character code, you're going to hold the Alt key and um, that didn't work. There it is. So you, you just type the special code and it shows up. Um, Oh, it's, it's this one. No, I already got that one. Trying to find, I have like registered mark and copyright mark. So that's just a little extra feature. Um, and there's character maps on Mac and, and uh, Linux too, where you can basically copy and paste the special characters. There's a Windows has a little extra feature where you can just type it. Um, anyway, so I've got my page here and I want to add more pages. I want to have a separate page for my Sway and a separate page for my YouTube. So here's the main page. You can actually add a bunch of stuff. You can click all this stuff and add it to your page. So you click down here and add like a placeholder divider, whatever you want to add um, when you're editing a page. But I want to add another page. So I click on the Pages tab and go down here to this plus sign and click on that. And I, then I'm going to type... YouTube and I just hit enter I don't have to click done it's so much faster and so I've got my YouTube page and notice it adds a little YouTube link up here and a home link so, so it's starting it'll add the, the nice thing about sites is it adds all these little navigation links for you so you can you know oh enter site name I've got to add a site name so I'll make this um, uh, embedded site it could be whatever you you choose, but it's going to sh the name is going to show up here instead of just untitled. I don't want to see untitled. I want to see some name. 
All right, so I got YouTube. Now I'm going to add my Sway page. Sway. And I hit enter. Not I didn't click done because it takes extra time. It's so much extra time to just click on it. So I'm just going to en hit enter. So I've got my Sway t page. I've got my YouTube page. Now I'm going to go find myself a video. And I want to edit. So I'm going to click on insert because I want to insert something. And I'm going to go back to my... <coughs> um, video and since this one is ready to go I'm just going to use it um, and I click on share <coughs> then there's embed <coughs> if you wanted to share Twitter or Facebook or whatever you could click on all these but I want the embed code and it gives you the code right here now the night kind of the cool thing is let's say you have a video you want it to start at like five minutes in you could just go to five minutes in and then click start at and then on your page the the video would start at that five mi five minute mark show player controls yes and here's an interesting one if you click on the if you look at the information it says when you turn on privacy enhanced mode youtube won't store information about ver visitors on your website unless they play the video so what that's saying is if you embed a video without clicking that box youtube will track whoever shows up on that page and say oh wow um, Steve showed up on that page and uh, or um, Bruce showed up on that page or Ivy showed up on that page with my cat's name anyway, the neighbor cat and my two cats um, and if you click on that box though it won't track your users unless they actually watch the video so that's kind of an interesting privacy so we can click that or not that's fine so now I've clicked that I'm going to copy the code that copies this code. And you notice it, it starts up here with iframe, which is the, the tag for this, and ends with forward slash iframe. That's the, that's the code that basically makes this in the, the video embed. And everything in between the two iframes is the, thing, the, the stuff that makes it work. The main one is source. If you had source and this, it would, it would work. All this other stuff is like size and, and different features. So I'm going to just copy that. I'm going to go, go to my, my web page. Here's YouTube. I'm going to click in here and I'm going to click on embed, which opens up this. this is by URL. So if I paste right now, it, URL is invalid. So if I click embed code, because it's embed code, it works here. So then I click next. It gives me like a little preview and I click insert. And there's my video. So my video looks a little small. I'm going to make this box a little bigger. But my video kind of stays small. So and, and I can drag this over so it's centered. But my video still looks a little small. So that's why I'm going to change the size. And there's code in this video that makes it that size. So I click on this edit bar, the little edit tool. And now it says width 560, height 315. So I want to make that a little bit bigger. So let's say I make it 800. So remember 560 and 315. Oops, I don't want to enter. And then I click Next and Save. And oh, that's wider, but now it's starting to cut off the bottom and the, the proportion is wrong. So let's go back and put 560 in. So 800, let's go back to 560. And notice the difference, 560 to 315, and we're going to do some math, some simple math, some ratios. I'm going to open up my calculator, which is a, a, an app on most computers. So if you, there's a calculator on Windows, there's a calculator on Mac, there's a calculator on Linux, calculator on your phone, wherever you want to use it. So the ratio of height to width of a high def video, HD video, is 1920 by 1080. So if you take 1920 and divide it by 1080, whoops, 1080, you get 1.77777. But we want to figure out what the smaller number is. So we want the ratio of width to heights, which is 1080 divided by 1920, you get 0.5625. So if I want to make my width 800, I'm going to make my height three, not 315, but 800 times 0.5625. So 0.5625 times 800 gives me 450. So now I'll make my height 450, which is the right ratio of height to width. 
and next save there we go now my video is the right size I could go bigger um, but I'm gonna drag this blue box smaller a little bit smaller but I want to have navigation bars now we've got this kind of set up it won't center inside that box but I can center the box inside the web page it's doing weird things there we go now I want to go to my sway so I'm gonna go to pages click on sway and I think you could also click here and we're gonna do this thing same thing with my sway so now I've got to go the next thing I do is is um, the link to the sways are in your Microsoft office online you know OneDrive whatever and it's share no I'm sorry LAUSD dash my SharePoint since I've already got it saved as a link that's the link I could type it in um, you're gonna click on it in the in the assignment it's there so here's my SharePoint and it takes me to one, my OneDrive so I have to go up to my app waffle and click on sway and I've got my practice portfolio that's the one I want to use so I'm going to click on that and up here it says share and you can share a Google Doc you can share a Google uh, sheet you can share uh, uh, Google Slides you can share PowerPoints you can share all kinds of stuff and what I want to do is get my embed code copy to clipboard and there's you say it's iframe and it's height width and all that and it goes all the way to the end it'll say forward slash iframe copy to clipboard and you don't really need to know the code all you need to know is how to find the code it's going to be provided for you you don't have to do any like the the nitty-gritty exactly what the code does so now I've got in my sway I'm going to go to insert embed embed code paste that in there next insert and there's the sway now in the sway I've noticed that you can change the size of this box and it will adjust the size of the sway for you so there we go now that's a little bit better spacing and I move this over a bit so it's centered and now it's ready to go and some it's I'm not sure exactly how to make this not do that but the, this this heading not get big like that because it was small before and now it's big so I'm not sure exactly what makes that work yeah, I could mess around with it some but I don't need to now if you want to see how this is all going to look as a website you can mouse up here mouse over this little thing it says preview I click on that and here's what it would look like so I can click on embedded site and here's my main page here's my YouTube page here's my sway page you know that's the sway stuff all works down here I could actually click on here's what it would look like on a phone here's what it would look like on a tablet and here's what it looks like on a desktop and once I'm done, like checking out and navigating and looking around, I can click on the plus, the little ex exit preview, and I'm back to this editing view. The last step is to publish. And the site name is going to be sites.google.com forward slash lusd.net forward slash embedded site, which is kind of a weird name. So I can change that to Mr. B's site or photo no this is imaging site so you um, there's you see it's got that red line there so you can only use dashes and letters make sure to make it all lowercase because it is case sensitive you can change the name as if you want and I click on publish and now the site is published all I have to do to turn this in is go up here to this link copy published site link so I do that I copy link that's what I turn into Schoology so you've got your website it's all made you've got a home page and you've got separate pages for YouTube and sway and in those pages you have your YouTube and sway 
And if you look at the preview, you can see, let's go to the YouTube page, and actually the video plays just like the trailer. Oh, anyway. The, the video plays just like it would in YouTube. All right. So that's it. Thank, and so that's it. Check it out.